and then you always get to the point you always get to that wall in sports and life and you'd be like does this really matter or should i like continue on and like talking to y'all people that's like does it really matter should you continue on yes it matters like push through like you started it for a reason you talk about in your relationship by talking about everybody the more times you're out the relationship might get better or worse and if it even gets worse that's a good thing because now you know that this ain't working out I ain't said nothing. Do you agree or disagree? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Fanatic Islanders, your home for sports and sports entertainment. And we have another good one for you. As you can see, the boys are back in the studio. The boys are here. I'm I'm back after you didn't see me in the last couple of sandbars, but you know, life happens. Life happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so today we got me, we got Macario. Um, Justin couldn't make it, and we have this third mic here. This is not a ghost. This is not a Kadeem. Um, what we decided to do is just have this honorary mic here for all the people that helped us out this year um, with it. So Justin, who've been on camera, Chris, who've been on camera, Prince, who've been on camera, Ferg, who've been on camera, this mic is for them. So, you know, it only felt right. To you know, leave it there. I'm not completely BSing you. Just <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I, I, that, I know where you pull that from. I pull that from the pit. I, <laughs> I don't know. It's just too lazy. <laughs> to move the but honestly and truly, no. We, um, as we cap off the year, we gotta get them props. So, um, my cat, this my cat is for them. They are here with us, even though they couldn't make it today. They're here with us. But to start off this episode, I want to start off with a question to the viewers. Look at there. I got to ask you all Okay. Say we got two sprinters, right? Mm -hmm. Two sprinters. Both of them run 200 meters, let's say. 200 meters. One is a high school sprinter. One is a professional sprinter. Okay. Let's say they're working on their race in the summer. The high school sprinter sheds three seconds off their time. And a professional sprinter sheds a tenth of a second. Which one means more? I think the professional. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I got to say the professional. The reason why I say professional is because um, working a nine to five, like professional sprinter means that one, they are past puberty and, you know, they've, they've done their high school, so they've been done their college um, career or whatever and they actually that's their professional life and as we've seen and as we've heard in some of the soundbars a lot of these professionals are not just they're not sprinting full time they're working a 9 to 5 yeah. so in order to actually um, have all your wits and have all your um, have all your stuff and to shave even like you say a tenth of a second exactly. I feel like that's better than a high school sprinter that's still progressing that's still developing um and whatnot. I don't know if everybody else got it, but it makes sense because, you know, and also with that, you know, high school sprinter, you might be the best in your high school or your best in your country or state or whatever you want to call it. But at the end of the day, when it comes to like being a professional, a tenth of a second is the difference between being an Olympic champion or coming in last. So, I mean, serious thing. So, now I got to ask this question Why is it we don't treat Oh, a lot of us don't treat our lives the same way. Because a lot of us, I, I, I think I'm guilty of this too. <laughs> I mean, all of us, yeah, for sure. But we always, we, 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 have, we form a plan. Mm -hmm. And the main thing that we, the main thing that's holding us back from completing that plan is time. A lot of us try to um, squeeze out more time in a day than we actually do have, that, that we have that's available to us. So it's kind of hard to, one, work a nine to five. And I'm not saying nine to five as in you work actual nine to five. It's just whatever you work here, <laughs> yeah. right? Your job. You're dealing with house. You're dealing with home. Well, house and home is the same thing. You're dealing with house. You're dealing with kids. You're dealing with extracurricular activities. So you're, sometimes you're, what you what we do decide to do, sometimes they tend to take a box seat. I'm not saying that they take a box seat um, intentionally. It's just 
when you get to it, um, you get to it and it's like, okay, well, I have this time allotted now for it. So I think time is a main thing. Why why we can't do it? So in order to do it, we have to be like strict with time. Honestly and truly, I've, I've talked to people like if we move to like Venus, mm-hmm. like we have like more hours in a day. So that's something I'm looking forward to. <laughs> Venus or Mars? It's one of them. It's one of them. I think it might be Mars. That's what I was thinking too. Venus. Oh yeah, because Mars. Yeah. No, Venus is twenty three and a half hours. Because it all went some. Yeah, it Venus. Kind of it. Yeah, Venus is twenty three and a half hours a day. Earth is twenty four. <laughs> I think Mars is like sixty something, forty something. Sixty something crazy. You know what you can get done in a sixty four hour day? Exactly. But I also wanted to use that analogy to bring us to the law of diminishing returns. And the thing about the law of diminishing returns is, you know, when you just like the thing with the sprinter, the analogy. Mm-hmm. You get so good at something that the returns you get from it just ain't gonna be as big as they were when you first started, like when you were amateur. Yeah. So it's like, at that point, it's like people don't really see or feel the need to work as hard as hard at it anymore. So it becomes something where it's like, this separates the good from the great, which is crazy. But it's funny because when I look at it, the way people see that, they feel like there isn't a need. But when it comes to things like investing and stuff, people put all their money into something and feel like when it goes up, it's going to go up forever. They don't apply the law of diminishing returns to that. Something that they cannot control, but something they can control, which is their life. They do laws, which is crazy. So I don't know. Uh, and that was just something that I want to think about. And then I wonder why we I wonder why we even think like that. Like why why is it that something we can't control we let we dump everything into it and bed every the house on it and everything. It's the risk, right? Like high risk, high reward. So I like, think that's the issue too. <laughs> Like we can't control it, so it's like, hey, this really a boom or bust. It's like mm-hmm. you you get it, it's like great. Yeah. You know, if you don't get it, it's not like you were expecting to get it. Yeah. So like you know, because we can't control it, so it's like at the end of the day, I I can't control it. So hey, I don't expect to get it. So let me just you know do a little something. I don't expect to get it, yeah. but if I get it, great. I could okay. now the stuff I can control is like okay well you know it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to envision not getting or like losing it so it's like I get it I get yeah. It. yeah yeah but I mean how do they say it it's like we say that it's good to be steady instead of boom or bust because in boom or bust most of the time people ain't gonna it ain't gonna pay off anyway no. so like you keep being steady for like. 5, 10, 20 years. It usually can pay off, but most people don't even take that route, which is crazy. Yeah, because it's like, you trying to be steady is like... You, you can't see it. No, you can't, you can't see, see it. it. <laughs> you can feel it. Yeah. Like, same thing like when we on um, weight loss going in the gym, it's like, mm-hmm. you you feel yourself getting strong. You feel your clothes fitting a little bit differently. You see, you feel the weight sometimes moving yeah. slightly more. And like, that's why I always tell people, like, you know, write stuff down because, like, you could see it on paper. Yeah. You may not feel it, but you could, like, see it. But exactly. It's like steady is. It's not fun. Yeah. <laughs> people want patient. Yeah, exactly. Like, people want to go, people want to take the shortcut. They want to take the shortcut. They want to see, they want to jump 10 flights of stairs instead of climbing one at a time. Yeah, that's true. I guess there's more excitement in it. But even like with the simple thing, day to day life, you study five minutes more, you might go from a B to A. Why I say more? <laughs> you, you, you take some time out after your job to do your side hustle, you make some more money. Mm-hmm. You talk more in your relationship by talking about everybody. The more times you're out, the relationship might get better or worse. And if it even gets worse, that's a good thing, because now you know that this ain't working out. (laughs) 
I ain't said nothing. Do you agree or disagree? I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. It's like, yeah. It's like you, you build on it and whatnot. Yeah. I agree with you. That's more, I more expected that from, from Kadeem. What you mean? Okay, you try to turn this into a relationship podcast. Oh no no no! I only I only was trying to relate to people, mm-hmm. you know. Cause, but now I bring it back to the sports right now. Cause I feel like even with professional athletes in different sports, not just track and field, everything is like you can see where they apply the diminishing return, the law of the diminishing returns. You can see that okay, this person raised their bottom average, but like. Two or three points. The masses could be like, oh, this man ain't do nothing over the summer. No. But he been putting in work. Even been putting in work. They, he got this team a couple more wins or something. Boom. Basketball. You raise the three point percentage. If Giannis raises three point percentage by 5.05 points, that may be a finals. They might, he might have won a finals with that. I mean, he won one already. So I mean, that's you know, gone I'll be the second. Okay. <laughs> Stuff like that, like why is it that we can't see, like especially in professional sports, mm-hmm. we feel like we have to down them all the time. If it's not boom up us, if it's someone where it's like, oh yeah, he ain't do this, so he ain't not good. See, you gotta realize, right? Mm-hmm. What we're doing is we're watching, we're watching the sport, or we're seeing it from a fan perspective. I'm not saying I I don't see it. Right, mm-hmm. we're seeing it from a fan perspective. So we see them playing the game on Sunday, mm-hmm. right? We don't see what goes in on Monday. We don't see what goes in on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's true. Like I follow, like I follow my teams, right? So like I want to know, hey, what are y'all doing in the off time? Um, like I listen to like the the coordinators and their press conferences. Okay, after win or loss, yeah. how are you going to apply this? Right, but most people just want to see their team every Sunday, yeah, and be like, "Man, this team suck." <laughs> Come back next week. I say it again. Man, this team suck. They ain't get better at all. No, but like I said, they don't know what goes in on a daily basis. Just the the game plan and whatnot. Like Sean the um the side even on like that fourth and two conversion, um the Dallas back in that Philly game, Philly and Dallas, right? Mm-hmm. He you know he said he made a wrong call, which. It's true. He looked at the he looked at the film and on that in those situations that they've done in the past, that they've that's been a passing down for them. But they ran the ball, so it's like your prep. So like, prep pre- preparation goes on it. Like pe- yeah. fans don't care. The like true fans do because true yeah. fans follow it. Now I want to ask: mm-hmm. Is it something where it's people looking at a reflection of themselves? And they say, okay, I've been, I've been boomed in this way. So I look at this person and be like, they can feel the same way I feel. Is it something where it becomes something like that? Like, even though they're professional, just like how people be like, oh yeah, I can beat that buddy. That buddy sucks. <laughs> is it like a, is it a relatable thing? I actually think it is. Um, I think a lot of people look at sports as a way to escape, but they also have some kind of self-reflection into it mm-hmm. in terms of like, you know, the getting away from their um, daily lives. So by them not improving and by them not thinking about what they're doing in their off time, they're like, okay, well, my life gets stay stagnant yeah. in a way. It's so, like they're trying to escape and like they're, like I said, they're not using train of thought gone. <laughs> bring it back, bring it back. Bring yeah, it back. they're using it. Like I said, they're using sports to escape. But they are seeing themselves within it. So it was like, man, if this team improve, I can improve my life. Mm-hmm. This team, this team has been the same stagnant for 13 weeks. Like when we were talking about like the Panthers, right? Yeah. So they're like, okay, well, why bother doing what I have to do? Oh, is it another let, let down year? Yeah. Well, you don't know what the guys, what people are doing their own on their own off time. So like if you're using it as a point of self reflection, work on yourself. Work on yourself so you're not stagnant. You're not the worst team in the league. Just, you know, as a yeah. um relation standpoint to a fan. Right? So I gotta feel that way sometimes like if I work on my team I get better for But how you feel about 
They have dog remote and Eric's working on on fumbling. People are saying that it, it seemed like it was embarrassing for him. See, I don't think that it was. Um, like everything goes into prep, so fum the ass fumbling has been a problem. I don't think that it's embarrassing mm -hmm. because everyone went through it. He's gonna be highlighted more because he's the offensive captain. He's the yeah. quarterback. He's the engine that makes the team run. So it's like, well, okay, they could see uh, out of the fifteen offensive guys, they could see they'll see them right. They'll be like. I mean, AJ Brown, AJ Brown fumble. Yeah. Devontae yeah. Smith fumble. That was, that was, like, yeah, ridiculous. Um, there's like, okay, well, Smith, um, Swift was fumbled in the past. Mm. Hurts. Mm. Hurts fumble. Hurts. They need to get rid of him. Too much. Yeah. So, like, quarterbacks are always, like, magnified. Mm. So, like, I would, it's not embarrassing. The person who made that comment is a. <laughs> so he was attention, going to so. Attention seeking. He's an attention seeking. Oh, yeah, I don't really, I'm not really a fan of the show. So it's like, yeah, so he's saying it out there. So now, just like how we picked it up and we were talking about it, he yeah. wants people to go and pick it up and talk about it. Yes, that's true. He just it's a boom up bus, right? He ain't had nothing to lose by um by I'm not saying, saying by saying it. He say stuff in the other time, to be honest. But no, it ain't. It's not embarrassing because like you know what you're trying to do. Like if you if you work on that, if you limit the amount of fumbles, then you're better off. And then like that goes exactly to what we're talking about. You don't see them working behind the scenes, so I'm glad that it's actually brought to light. Oh, I mean, I'm glad that he kind of like brought, um, he highlighted it because the Eagles have been doing that fumble drill for years. On the I mean, I hope everybody has. No, but like on the Syriana, they've been doing that fumble drill for years, right? They were mm -hmm. they was doing that last year, but we haven't seen it much this year. You know, because like I said, we don't see the same coverage. Yeah. So. It's it's definitely not embarrassing. I mean, the man had the richest contract in NFL history at one point in this all season, so it's definitely not embarrassing. He is trying. He is he has his bag. He's trying to secure his bag, and he's gonna you know keep trying to get better. How do we? I guess when we start getting these diminishing returns, how do we keep pushing forward? I guess I go back to the people. What would be? A, a game plan. I mean, you know, just an example. Everybody get up with a million game plans to keep pushing forward. But just like boring stuff. Just <laughs> have fun doing things that be, most people don't like. No. Going against the green. I think you got to. I think you got to set a goal firstly, right? Mm -hmm. So once you set a goal and then you mark, you do achievements. And that's why I say, like, you know, you're writing it down. So, like, you know, if you're trying to get a, a personal best and your deadlift. You're going to, you know, one, you should write it down as a way to keep track. Not a, not a, hey, be like, okay, well, maybe I could do this. You know, you could do it based on, like, your numbers. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, if you're climbing this far already. So, if your three rep max is um, higher than it was when you, higher than it was a week ago, I, at the end of this month, this is my trajectory. Yeah. Right? Not saying that um, you're going to get it. But I'm saying is you know that you're working towards it, you're you're steadily working towards it, and you can like actually see it. So I'd say like set goals and actually like mark out your goals and like write it write it out. That way you see it in real time. Like so you may not feel it, but like when you go look back at your book or you go look back on your phone or wherever you keep your notes, you'd be like, hmm, I did improve. Like I was doing 45 dumbbell presses and now i do in 60. yeah so it's like write make a goal um have a goal write it out then that way you know even if you put like a midpoint and be like once you hit that midpoint be like, okay well now you just got um a little bit more to go as a podcast that was it's probably the mindset we took going into this year i feel like we did a lot of climbing, we took a lot of notes, we were like, how do we get better? How do we keep pushing? We've been doing a lot of reflection videos lately, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but I think it's well deserved. I feel like going into 2024, we just need to keep keep pushing. I, I don't want to double down even more now. I feel like, how do I describe it? I don't even know. It's just something where it's like, I just want to keep getting better, even though even though sometimes it feels like a slow burn, even though it feels like, like, 
Ain't nothing happening, though. <laughs> like, 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 Ain't nothing happening, man. It feels like that, but then, like, um, what what I do is, like, I look, right? I and look you at, look back, too. I look, look back, I, yeah, yeah, I look at the YouTube, right? I look um, at the SoundCloud. I look at the Instagram posts. I look at the reels yeah. and be like, wait, this actually getting out there is actually getting numbers. And what's actually been happening is, like, people coming back to you and be like, okay, well, I see you here. And people sharing it and then you seeing people you you seen the num you see the numbers come in so it's like you can't stop right like season one like we reflected go <laughs> season one season one had like some of the videos had like no views some of the videos yeah. had like one view <laughs> and, the thing is, and the thing is it's three of us so like that's three that should be three views yeah, automatically three. So. <laughs> but i'm saying is like it's just you see the progression and then you always get to the point you always get to that wall in sports and life and you be like does this really matter or should i like continue on and like talking to y'all people that's like does it really matter should you continue on yes it matters i mean you, what else we could do like, I keep you decide that. you decided to start it yeah continue it like push through like you started it for a reason so why not see what you could do yes you may you know not have the time but and in that you have to make a decision on whether or not you this is something that you need to pursue any any further but yeah you got to keep pushing like make a goal have a goal have midpoints right and just you you get in there you slowly get in there any any bit by bit you'll see the progress once you look back now you can't look back every day yeah. because then it'd be like okay well mm, you don't you're, you're not gonna notice it yeah right you're not gonna notice it if you even if you go every week you go every two weeks three weeks four weeks whatever however it is you will see the progress because it's like uh a month ago we were here mm-hmm. now we're here and then we slowly like Slowly climbing, slowly progressing. And if it ain't for you, it ain't for you. But that does not mean <laughs> quit everything because you feel like it ain't for you. It gotta be something in life you pick and just be like, yeah, yeah, I ain't stopping this. You gotta figure it out. And then like, like, say me. Awesome, crazy. You gotta figure it out like, you know what I'm saying? Figure it out, do it. It can be times, it can be painful, it can hurt. And it can be like, wait. Well, what is life? Wait, why am I doing this? This is not. <laughs> this is not fun. But if you if you keep pushing, because most people ain't gonna go to a certain levels that you go to if you keep all you live. If you do it for ten years, like I promise you, most people ain't gonna do it for ten years, and you'll be fine. Most people, most people, <laughs> most people don't do it for a year. To be honest with you. <laughs> exactly. So you know, be most people after a year. So imagine ten years. That's time, man. Like, podcasts. I think the if a podcast gets past the 25th episode. You're in the 1%. Yeah, you in the 1%, yeah. right? The thing is, there are, um, there's a high algorithm for, for episode ones. So, anytime you see an episode. Oh, one, yeah, 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 yeah. Episode one. That. Yeah, episode one, YouTube pushing it, SoundCloud pushing it. Mm-hmm. It's like, episode one is always your highest, um, um, watch video or whatever right because it's just on everyone feed so you got to get past that episode one you got to get to that episode 50 to episode 25 you gotta you know have content out there in terms of that's that's in terms of podcasting in terms of like sports you gotta push it like yeah i think yeah three yeah four is your breaking one yeah, yeah your breaking point because yeah. yeah one if you do good or whatnot i'll get you a rookie yeah two he's a sophomore yeah three okay who are you yeah you feel yeah you, you ain't stop yet so like, i gotta see you know there's always them youtube videos you're looking at you, you keep skipping you keep skipping like hold on they make you make a new stuff let me see this is one because i i tired of skipping it and it's just connect but yeah so I feel that I feel like for the people, I know I'm about to be, you know, reiterate this, but you know, just put your mind, body, and soul into something. But it, put all of it, and if that's what you want to do next year, I know you're gonna make your goals for next year. You know, I know. I make my goals up. Yeah. Oh, 
Well, a lot of people. <laughs> a lot of people are doing. I know y'all buy all gym specials. I know. I need to pay for the gym though. Yeah. Y'all bought those deals. Do not quit in January. I said. I said. Now for us, we definitely getting better. We definitely getting better. That's all we doing in 2024. Getting better. It's that simple. Check every aspect. It getting better. So tune in. Comment. Do everything. Let us know. Or let's do it. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Thank you all for, you know, sticking with us through this. Another year of the Fanatic Islanders. Big and better is on the horizon. 2024, we got big things planned. Big things popping. Real talk. Right? And, like, yeah, you could even see with, like, the segments. Right? Like, yeah. If that ain't a way to... If that's not a... <laughs> um. If that's not inspiration and keep pushing, I don't know what it is, right? But thank you all for like, you know, sticking through with us for this for this year. Stick with us, you know, go in the future, going forward. You know, this could be you. Exactly. But until the next time, watch some of our old videos. You know, see how far see where we where we've come from. Right? And you could be like, uh, them them they they spit in, you know. They spin. That's what that's what people say all the time. I always ask it. I'm like, can you give me a way to improve this? Way? Just keep going. Well, I'm like, wait, literally, you can literally diss me in the old videos. But well, they just like keep going because it's like, like Moneyball. Like, because <laughs> watch, go watch Moneyball. <laughs> go watch Moneyball. Go watch First Down. Yeah. Like if y'all don't know what that is, that's season one stuff. Like you can watch you can watch our videos. Like you can't be above critique either. It's like exactly. we know we know season one wasn't all of that, but it's like hey. At the end of the day, we still have to keep pushing to get to where we are. Until next time, get your little. Be safe. Happy holidays.